All right, we want to find an expression for a cubic function. Cubic functions are functions, are polynomials with an x cubed in them. Now, there's a standard form, which is the ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. But that is really nasty. There's something really nice um, about polynomials, and that is that polynomials factor. So another form for a cubic would be a factored form. We've got some coefficient, and then we've got x minus uh, x1, and then x minus x2, and then x minus x3. And if we were to multiply all of this out, we'd get an x cubed, and an x squared, and an x and a constant. The thing that's nice about this form is that the x1 and the x2 and the x3, those are the roots of the polynomial, meaning the places where the function equals 0. So they've told us x1, x2, and x3 here because f of negative 1 is 0, f of 1 is 0, and f of 3 is 0. Those are our roots. So I can immediately jump to a times x minus negative 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 3. Notice if I plugged in 1, I'd have a 1 minus 1 right here, which is 0. And 0 times anything is 0, so I get my 0. Same thing with the 3, and same thing with the negative 1. So let's simplify just a little bit. This is x plus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 3. Now I just need to know what a is. And they've told us one more piece of information. That's f of 0 equals 2. So f of 0 is 2. So I just plug in 0 into each of these x's. So I've got a times 1 times negative 1 times negative 3. Well, that's 3a. So a equals uh, 2 thirds. And now I know a, so I can plug that in up here. So my function is 2 thirds times x plus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 3. So there's an expression for this cubic function.